here we are in my guiding, um, which, as always, is pretty terrible. But you can see how my guiding was just a little while ago. It was atrocious. So look at this. All of this from earlier. Never particularly good when you get a repackaged stickers on, but we'll see. Let's have a look. Okay. So we've got. Tripod legs. And we have the eyepiece. These are the tripod legs. There's the spreader. Interesting, this was loose in the box, so it's got some scratches here, and there are scratches on the legs. It's a bit disappointing if you buy something new and you've got scratches on the legs. Okay. Okay, first impression, a bit disappointing, to be honest. And the spreader's obviously been thumped there as well. Okay, well it's a little bit disappointing for the first part. This is the actual mount. So let's have a look. Oh wow, okay, cool. So I've got the Haribo and an Altec hat, which is nice. And then we've got a nice flight case. Always like a good flight case. Flight case looks like it's in reasonable condition. Shall we open it? Let's see what's inside. Okay, there it is. Interesting. So we've got the handset. Uh, some cables, which is always good. USB lead. Power supply. Okay. So it's a 12 volt, 5 amp power supply, which is reasonably good. It's good, and also an okay lead um, with a 10 amp fuse. This is the extension bar, it will be my receipt. Then we have the lead for the hand controller, and what looks to be a GPS, Myopron GPS sensor. So that looks good. There is one more box which has the counterweight in, but I'm not going to open that now because it's just a counterweight. It does only come with one counterweight though. And there we go. It is the 
GEM 45 NUC or NUC mount and I'm really looking forward to using it. It's a real shame about that. Uh, I'm going to clean that up though. Um, I, I'm not massively worried. I'm not going to make a huge fuss, but it's just a shame, you know, brand new mount. I mean, what you're paying for is this. This is just, I mean, that's kind of, the idea of this is it should really go on up here. Um, but interestingly, those scratches are caused by the spreader, but there's a place for the spreader. So why not put the spreader in there? Unless I'm being a bit finickety, but. Um, and of course, instructions. Excellent. I'm hoping this mount will give me massively better guide. It will give me better guiding than my current mount. So this is a real sort of investment for the future. There we go. New mount here.